So what we want to find, I'm probably am I upside down right now? I'm probably gonna be upside down. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, let's re wait one second. All right, all right. What's up, guys? It's Alec from Born Active right now. We're gonna bring you a little video on some bench press tips and something that really helped out me a lot, and something that helped out Brian a lot, and I feel like we, it can help you a lot as well. So. First thing we're gonna talk about is retracting the scapula. And there's a bunch of videos on this already, so you can find this probably anywhere. It's one of the like biggest tips that you, that you can hear, hear. So it's about, it really helps with shaving, saving your, your, your shoulders up a bit. So it's gonna help you have a nice, strong, sturdy base, and then keep you from falling off over the bench and then wobbling too much at the shoulders. So when it comes to retracting the scapula, one of the things is really just, is think about pinching those shoulder blades back, right? So I don't just, I don't really just come in for a row. I like to bring it up, back, and down. And I think there's a video, like I learned this from uh, Chris Jones. <laughs> I actually watched this from Chris Jones. So I'm bringing, it, I'm bringing it up, back, and down, right? And that's allowing me to not just pinch my shoulder blades back, but engage my lats as well, right? So basically think about your lats being that shelf for yourself as you bench press. You have a, have a nice wide base so you don't wobble around too much, right? So go ahead, as you take a, we'll go a rotating angle right here, so I'm gonna be up, back and down. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the side. All right, we go again, right here, boom. And now I'm in that bench press position right here, right, as I press. And you're gonna notice it helps keep me engaging in the chest and the tries. And I'm not, if I'm up here, I'm loose, I'm not gonna be keeping it just in my shoulders, right? I'm gonna take my shoulders out of it a little bit and keep it more in my, my lats, my chest. So it's a little bit more, you, it's, when you hear people say keep it tight, that's what you're talking, that's what, what we're talking about. Keeping everything tight, right? Saving those shoulders. All right, and a lot of times when it comes to the setup, I find it really hard like to get here and just lay down, <laughs> right? So what you see a lot of people do, when you see them set up for their bench, you see them grab that bar and they kind of shoot their head back. So go ahead, we'll come from a side angle right here. And you're gonna see as I shoot my head back, it's gonna help me pinch those shoulder blades and engage my lats. So I'm here, I found my hand placement. Right now I'm still kind of loose, but as I bring it back, you see, it allows me to engage my lats and keep it tight. All right, so next bit, we're gonna be talking about hand placement. So this is one of the things I, for me a lot that I needed to work on, and it took me forever, right? I would either be too close or I'd be too wide, right? And everybody's body is going to be different, so you need to find what works best for you, because everybody's going to have different lengths of their bones and stuff like that, all that cool stuff. A lot of times, if you look at the bar. I want you guys to see the angle you're at. I'm looking at the angles of my elbows. All right. So, as you look at the angle, right, we have a really wide angle, and I'm putting more stress on my shoulders. And for me, it's even harder for me to press this way, right? For you, maybe, as well. Just test it out. Same thing with the close. For me, I can't push as much weight this way, and it puts a lot of stress on my shoulders still. I have more range, I have more range of motion that I need to be pushing it. But what I like to find, I like to ha find a happy medium, okay? So I kind of go right in the middle, and I think about, boom tucking my elbows in. So you see, I kind of have a, a good angle on my elbows. I'm not too wide out here, and I'm not too close up in here, but I'm right in the middle. And for me, this is the strongest position, all right? So, with your hand placement, that's important, because you need to figure out what your strongest position is at. So play around with it and see where your strongest at. Other than that, those are the two big tips we have for this video, and we'll have two more tips coming out in a future video for bench press. Thanks for watching, guys.